Tiffany here with Years of Years, and it's this day in Disney for June 16th. And today we get to go to 1956 and talk about a cool attraction opening over at Disneyland. So of course this was opening a year after Disneyland had already opened and was running and all exciting for everyone to come see. And so now this was the new attraction and then the new thing to see, which was Tom Sawyer, Sawyer's Island in Frontierland and also, of course, the rafts to Tom Sawyer Island, which is definitely part of the experience because you get to, you know, ride that river raft over. And of course those are motorized and um, <laughs> they're just so fun to take a raft over to the island and play. Um, so this opened on this day and of course this is surrounded by the rivers of America and inspired by the works of Mark Twain, which, you know, we've talked about here on this day in Disney a while back. We talked about Mark Twain and I think I could do a few <laughs> this day in Disney is on all of uh, what Mark Twain has offered to the literary world and the world in general. But of course, Disney commemorated him with Tom Sawyer Island, um, which is quite awesome. So, um, you like I said, you took the motorized rafts over and those are piloted by a cast member. <laughs> It'd be kind of fun if we get to pilot them ourselves, but <laughs> no such luck. <laughs> That's okay, probably for the best. And then, of course, once you get over there, there's so much to do. And of course, the one at Disney World, the different Tom Sawyer Islands are all different. But back then, the you know, when the first one opened, um, they, in 1956, they had, um, you know, like the Tom Sawyer Treehouse, that's still there. And then back in 2006 or 2007, they actually changed elements of Tom Sawyer Island into more of a Pirates of the Caribbean theme. So um, you have those features, but it's still Tom Sawyer and Huck's imaginary pirates adventure basically so obviously i have not been there in the 2007 version so i'm not exactly sure what it's all of course there's videos and walkthroughs and stuff so go check those out on youtube so you can see what it's like now um but quite different from the original and a lot and a lot of piratey and i think i would like that if i find that a lot of fun because the one in walt disney world is just Tom Sawyer Island and you go over and you get to run through the caves and go explore and there's the old mill which I love because there's the owl in it which is like um, you know the owl that's in the old mill um, Disney short so really cool little things that I love over there and you have Aunt Polly's and you can get some food there sometimes <laughs> not often you get to do the the bridge and of course both um, of Tom Sawyer, both Tom Sawyer Islands and then the other Tom Sawyer Islands have the river boat running around the rivers of America. So it's running around Tom Sawyer Island and there's different features that you get to see as you, you know, take the river boat and hear of that time period and all the, the goings on and the cabin and the, um, you know, the animals and different things like that. They're all, every park has different iterations of that, of course. But let's get to the Disneyland one. Very interesting. Um, so, like I said, you have the, the riverboat, which is the um, sailing ship Columbia over there um, at Disneyland. And then you have the different things that you have there are like you have the landing where um, on the island it consists of a small dock and that's where the you get dropped off by the rafts. And then Lafayette's Tavern at Pirate Point. Um, this was for, formerly Harper's Mill, so we have Harper's Mill still at Disney World. They have Lafayette's Tavern, which has been part of Tom Sawyer Island, you know, the structure since inception. Um, the outside walls of the porch and tavern feature swords and salty pirates visiting um, this place are asked to leave their weapons outside, of course. So 
So all the piratey themes. And then you have the Turner Blacksmith, which features props and show um, elements reminiscent of the black ship, uh, blacksmith shop from uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of Black Pearl. And that's when Will Turner is introduced. And then you have Dead Man's Grotto, which was formerly Injun Joe's cave. And so these are have a bridge over a bottomless pit with wind sounds and moans, and it sounds really fun and spooky. And you can go um, down and, and experience that. And there's apparently state-of-the-art lighting and technology to get you totally you know immersed in that <laughs> spooky experience so that sounds like so much fun and then there's pop-up pop-up gags which are um pintel and rigetti from the pirates of the, Ca the caribbean and they like pop up in the caves and so <laughs> this made me think of our you know the, not our but the magic kingdom one and of course there's no characters or anything like that that pop up so we do it ourselves right <laughs> one of the most fun things to do is hide in the caves and or get ahead of your party but when, you know in my case my children i run ahead of them so i can scare them or brad and usually brad's the one who really gets scared because <laughs> i always trick him <laughs> and uh he probably just playing along he probably already knows I'm gonna do it because I have to do it every time but it's so fun playing in the caves and that's just kind of an interesting like topic because you know here you can have a situation at Magic Kingdom where there's not so much technology and innovation and such but you still have like this really awesome experience over on Tom Sawyer Island but equally here at it you know, Disneyland, you have a really cool, immersive Pirates of the Caribbean experience. So I think both are interesting, but sometimes less is more too. I don't know. If you Disneylanders and those who have been to Disneyland, please tell me if you've been to both, like, what do you think? Do you like the more classic at Magic Kingdom or do you like what they've done with the Perry? Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm a big Pirates of the Caribbean fan, so this is something I definitely want to check out. There's a um, Smuggler's Cove, and then there's the Pirate's Den Shipwreck, and the Captain's Treasure. Um, like I said before, Tom um, and Huck's Treehouse is still there, and then they had a Fort Wilderness. Apparently there was, um, you know, something that guests could go play with but they had all sorts of issues with it and weather damage and even termites. So they took it down, then rebuilt it. And it's not something that you can go and play on like the one at the Magic Kingdom. So it's a little bit different. Um, so, and it, uh, the original had authentic hand hewn logs and when they refurbished it, they didn't you know use that quality of materials either and they just you don't you don't use it so whatnot <laughs> so it's just very very interesting <laughs> to me all the differences um i definitely want to check out i mean the captain's treasure is big mound of loot and then the pirate's den has um the description of the shipwreck that eludes the kraken of course and so lots of fun, fun stuff. And then of course, Castle Rock is a large structure which features stationary telescopes. So that's very similar to like the fort that has things that you know, that you can interact with um, and, and check out. So I would love to see the Tom Sawyer Island at Disney World, or sorry, at Disneyland. Um, we do go over to the one at Disney World, um, not as often because, um, sometimes we go later in the day and it closes earlier so, so that's something you've got to watch out for because it's not always open as late but you can see Tom Sawyer Island at the Magic Kingdom at um, Tokyo Disneyland Disneyland Paris Hong Kong Disneyland as well so then they all have different theming and such so that's why going to all the parks would be so worth it because 
every park has a different style story and theming which i can't wait to see someday but that's it for this day in disney tell me all your thoughts about tom sawyer island in the comments and we'll see you guys next time bye